Hello friends. So today I am here to discuss about the development of digot embryo. Uh, so before we begin, let's understand what is an embryo. Uh, so basically, an embryo means a zygote which undergoes a develop uh, undergoes several developmental changes and finally it forms the embryo. So here we can see the how the several divisions how the zygote undergoes several divisions and then it forms the various stages and finally it forms the digot embryo. So let us see it step by step for the easy understanding. Okay, so here first we can see the zygote. So here this is the zygote which under the favorable condition it divides into two cell stage. Okay. So here we can see the two cell stage. So upper that is the basal cell which lies towards the micropylar end. Next is the terminal cell that is the which lies towards the telazole end. Further we can see it undergoes it divides mitotically. It divides mitotically we can see the division has taken place in both the cells in the upper basal cell as well as the terminal cell. So here the basal cell it undergoes a longitudinal division okay so then it forms two cells basal cell divides to form two cells and we can see at the terminal cell it has a uh, vertical division so therefore it forms the two cells in the terminal cell as well okay further we can see here the two cell embryo it remains the same the terminal cell remains the same while the basal cell has undergone several division longitudinal divisions and it has formed 7 to 10 cells so that 7 to 10 cells are called the suspensor cells okay so this forms a suspensor so this suspensor along with the two cell embryo it further divides and we can see here the two cell embryo so this embryo forms into a four cell embryo so there is another division which takes place in the terminal cell and it forms a four cell embryo. While we can see here the suspensor cell. So here we can see the uppermost cell of the suspensor cell. So it has formed a hostoria. So this hostoria later on it provides the nutrition for the embryo. The cell pro embryo which is also called as the octant. So this oxygen stage of the embryo the two basal cells divide transversely so we can see here they are divide transversely and then they are formed here the suspensor okay so this forms the 7 to 10 cells here okay and then we can see here the suspensor which attends its maximum development by the embryo attends a globular shape so the suspensor pushes the embryo cells down into the endosperm so here the distal cell of the suspensor is much larger than the other cell. So distal cell is much larger than the other cells. As we know it is called as the hostoria. Okay. The lowermost cell of the suspensor is termed as the hypophysis. So by further divisions the hypophysis, hypophysis, so this hypophysis gives rise to the embryonic root and root cap okay so then we can see here as we see here the uh, it, uh, after the eight cell pro embryo it develops into the globular shape shaped embryo so here we can see the outermost layer is it divides here anticlinally and the outermost layer is formed that is called as the dermatogen which further leads into the epidermis and below the dermatogen you can see there is a peribrem layer and below the peribrem there is here in the center there is the pleurome layer okay so then once this is formed after the globular stage we can see the globular shape embryo is changed into the heart shaped embryo so here we can see the shape of the heart therefore it is termed as the heart shaped embryo and then the finally it ends into the dicot embryo so here we can see the proper formation of the dicot embryo with the hostoria and the basal end so the basal cell that is the hostoria below it we can see the suspensor cells and then the uh, uh, below the suspensor we can see the radical which further gives rise to the root and then it further leads so here we can see the two cotyledons are formed so therefore it is termed as the dicot and here in the center of the two cotyledons uh, center of the cotyledons you all can see the plumule which gives rise to the shoot so 
this final stage is called as the torpedo stage so this is all about the development of dicot embryo i hope you all, you all must have understood it like how the formation of zygote it continued how it divides transversely vertically and then it forms into the torpedo stage so i hope you all like this video and thank you so much